Y'all want me to drop the glitch tomorrow on how to get Patty Mills or T Mac on every build, any rating. It doesn't matter if you want to know the glitch. Drop a like on this video. Get this video to a thousand likes within the first 24 hours. It is very game breaking. I want them to ban everyone, but it don't seem like nobody put out the glitch really, really. So I'm gonna have to put it out, man. So yeah, you can get the best jump shot bases on the game, even when your build don't require it. Even when your build can't get it. Say you got a goddamn 83 and an 80 midi, you can get T-Mac. Now within this video, I'm going to be showing you the best jump shots in the game for every height, every build, every rating, so you can become a god. I shoot 75% from three with randoms that are half the time trolling me because they know who I am live on stream, okay? You watch this video, you apply this knowledge, these jump shots, you will easily increase your shooting percent by 10 to 20 percent okay you need to send this video to everyone you know every game i play no one can shoot bro even though this is one of the easiest 2ks well actually it is the easiest 2k to ever exist people still can't shoot randoms cannot shoot 80 percent of the player base cannot shoot consistently man it's kind of crazy so everyone needs this it's kind of crazy right y'all need to watch the full damn video so the first tip I'm going to give you guys is you need a damn Ethernet cord. It helps with latency and you get a way better connection. And if y'all don't know what spikes are, it's like right before you shoot. For some reason, right before you shoot, that's where you have like the high, highest likelihood of getting a spike. If you get a spike, it's very hard to make that shot because it throws you off completely, right? Um, so you need an Ethernet cord. It's not hard. You could buy a cheap cord. You know, I don't know what your mama, all this and that, but you gotta, no Wi-Fi gaming. You gotta evolve. Also, secondly, another thing that is being told to millions is you have to have your controller plugged in. This is not true when it comes to the PS5. Computer, yeah, PS4, yeah. You know, other systems, yeah, but for the PS5, I looked this up. You can search it on YouTube. Y'all let me know if there's new information out there. You have to have your, com your controller not plugged in for less latency and more responsiveness. You have to look it up. Look it up. The dude, the little eight, <laughs> bro, he's literally telling you, bro. He's telling you, bro, less latency with the dual shot, blah, 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 when it's not plugged in. Don't know why it's like that. PS4 it wasn't like that. You had to have it plugged in. But for P5, you get less delay and more responsiveness with it not plugged in. Now, here's what the real issue is that you might be coming across when you have it plugged in or not plugged in. Is there two different latencies? Y'all know like how you go on different parts or you know different uh servers or you playing rec then 3v3 pro m they're different latencies. It's the same thing, plugged in, not plugged in. Like I'll be playing all the time and I'll be like, damn, I'm missing now. And it's all because my controller was plugged in. It's something as simple as that can make you miss and play off, right? So whichever one you pick, just make sure you're consistent with it. And um, you'll see way better results. Bro, look it up. Look it up on the tube. Look it up. I'll be telling people that and no, nobody believes me. I, Bro, I looked at three different videos. Now, this is like the fastest jump shot in the game. It's very stable. Ain't no swaying. Ain't none of that. Um, this is an alternate reality version, okay? It's like the slower version if you want to shoot more contested and more over people. I'm going to show you all the alternate reality version of this jump shot soon. You know, it's a lower, you know, if you don't want to use T-Mac, if you want to, you know, if you want the faster jump shots, this one is for you. It's nice, okay? Now, look, here's the alternate version, okay? The alternate one with the speed, okay, where it's like the fastest jumper, you know? Yeah, you know, you don't want to use the T Mac E Mac. You can try this whole out. It's, you know? Now, for the Zach Levine, this is like a catch and shoot god, okay? You know, like when you catch and shoot and you catch that hole and you get that shot, it's easy to time. And it's like a fade shot, right? It's easy to time. Ain't much motion. It's okay speed. You can shoot over people. Here's one with even less speed, but you can shoot over people more, okay? This is a good catch and shoot shoot over consistent jumper okay very easy to time test it out you catch a shoot cat or even on your uh main ball handler big build test it out man. look this kevin durant for a shooting big you know say you got a high midi high three 
I like this jump shot. I tried other jump shots. There's something wrong with the big man this year. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. For some reason, bro, it just feel like the game broke. Like, But with this hoe, the Kevin Durant, it seemed like I could start hitting. Now, there's a new animation. This goddamn Chris Bosh, right? You don't, you get this, you know, when you're a higher level or whatever. It's not even worth it, bro. Bro, I keep missing with this hoe. I don't know what it is. You see the ratings I got, right? This jump shot right here is horrible, bro, for big man. I don't know. For me, I was trying it. it here is the best guard jump shot when you're 6'5 and under, okay? You shoot over people, people saying it's hella glitchy, but you have to be a certain rep. I think it's starter three or vet three. I don't think it's vet three. It's one of the uh, reps, so you gotta play the game a lot. If you don't have this base, just put on abt himself this is the jump that i be using on my uh 99 stand and dunk build okay y'all be seeing me play with them hoes all up in the nah, nah. then i'm still greening people crying complaining how are you doing that? you're a pg <laughs> this is the jumper poppers everything tell your friends to use this jump if you don't get the t-mac Okay, get it all the way up to 610, 65 through 610. This is the jumper that will change your game if you don't get T-Mac. To me, okay, for, I mean, I've told a bunch of people, hundreds of people have thanked me. Guys, you, you guys have no, people are literally sending me paragraphs thanking me. <laughs> Shoot in the game, like you, you gotta imagine, this is serious. People do this in their off time. They just trying to have fun. They wanna hit their shots. This is a big deal. Y'all think I'm like spamming, but it's like, bro, People are asking all the time. They want to shoot. This is the jumper. Save the com save the community. Oh, okay. This is the version I actually use. Okay. In my when y'all be seeing me playing live, this is mainly the jump shot that I use to be unstoppable. When I'm on a build that can use T Mac, I play on so many different builds live, and I just be rotating different accounts. But this usually, when I have a build that has an 87 plus, that's what you need. When y'all make y'all builds. Make sure you got an 87 mid-range or three-pointer and you could get the best base in the game. It is worth it. But if you messed up on your builds or some of your builds, you still want to use some of your old builds, I have other bases for you, okay? Stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe. It's free. Show love. Hit the like. I'm saving your life. Now look, here's another Mac base alternate reality, okay? It's more, it's, it's more kind of smoothie a little bit. This is this is an alternate version. Just all here is a for the small builds out there. Here is a nice curry base. One of the best bases for small builds. That's man. Well, at least the bases. You might not be able to get the releases, but you could work around that and just switch to uh, releases. But when I use this seven foot point center, y'all drop a comment below if you want this build. I'll be butter, bruh. You feel me? This little Eric Posh corner of the base, you know, it's decent. I got nice little releases. You know, you can shoot straight over people. You already seven foot. Then you got a nice release height and a decent speed. Everything Gucci. Good base for bigs, man. Now, the second one I'm going to show you is this Isaac, okay? You can shoot over people even easier as a point center. Decent speed, a little weaker stability, but, you know, your release height is better, man. These two bases as a big... You know, you should really try to get on your build. And of course, the requirements will be lower if you use different releases. This is the baby T-Mac. If you're a T-Mac user and you finally make a small guard, you can't shoot with the Curry, you don't get Patty Mills, use this AI jump shot, okay? Easier to hit with, slower, shoot more contested. It's the same type of form. Use this if you're a littler guard, okay? Six, five and under, okay? Show. To get all your hot spots, dog, if you're really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters on rookie. Thank me, thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro, okay? And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I wanna show y'all this right here, guys, okay? 
this is very important this is so important bro a lot of y'all you're not thinking man i've been on at least 40 different accounts this year right and i'm noticing something people don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play and then they're whining about the game especially this year since the rebirth right it gets you the silver badges or whatever people aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges you have to do it literally this right here look y'all are playing and you don't even got this max how do you know the real truth of the game you feel me look hall of fame midi magician bro are you gonna miss a midi with that especially i already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game y'all go check it out for your build i gave y'all the best releases in the game too and i'm finna go over the best jump shots again i go i put in different jump shots every time but look you want to max out your jump shots look right here claymore you want to max this hoe out you want to max out mini magician you really want to max out open looks this is so important it will change your game i don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first like i don't know if i'm just tripping but i just feel like these shooting badges change everything like like it's not even close like when you play with without this and then compared to with this it's completely different bro that catch and shoot one of the most important badges bro people don't even got their catch and shoot max they're gonna go play and they're missing look i got this whole hall of fame you feel me people aren't maxing out their badges especially because of the rebirth i'm telling you this is why you're missing way more than not look the green machine you gotta get this whole max maybe it might not do nothing this year but i i i don't know in particular what but I know overall, when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hole out. Before you say, like, the shooting this and that and that and this. The, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye. Max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. Okay? Limitless range. Max it out. Watch what's gonna happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall. Like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, brother. But listen up, but yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. 
Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now one more thing, in every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, you could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on, but they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just wanna test this out, this is something you could- Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Talking this for when this hit the fan Everything I'm that made me Now break it down Yo Off the top of the dome, dome.